5 p.m. till late. Contact us on 407-4936 or 535-4936. Old School Pub, the name speaks for itself. Welcome back to Make the Artist. And as we said, we are in Tivoli. Right now, I am here with the manager, leader of the group, and your name is? Livingston Kruma Nelson. Is Kruma your? My, my official, my, also my name. Okay, so um, can you give me a little bit of history about where the group started? Well, the group started right here, actually, just uh, a couple, maybe um, 20, 30 meters from here. Um, the group started in 1995. Okay. Um, there were some members in a previous group, and then we came together in order to form the Tivoli group, now the Tivoli Drummers. The, Tivoli, the name Tivoli Drummers was given by, to us by the community, because they say we are the Drummers from Tivoli, so it became our official name. And we started with some members. Today we have um, two of the older older members uh, along with me. That is Bevin um, Nelson, who is now the director of the group, and Edwin Charles, mm -hmm. who is one of the guys that did the stick fight. Um, and basically, that that that's um, the the others came in thereafter to to join us. But we have always been interested in reviving. Um, and preserving what we call the drum culture or the drumming that existed in 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 Tivoli. The two ladies are myself, Jeremy, so we start with condom. So we start in by. Right now it's bordering on 12. Okay. 12, 12. And initially, how much did you start with? Um, it's hard to say. It could have been, anyway, there are about 15, 18 okay. of, of us. So some members migrated, some um, got married and decided to, to go the, the family way only. And then we recruited and over the years recruited new members. Oh, that's nice. Um, can you tell me a little bit about the drums? The specific drums? The drumming that existed in Tivoli were basically the barrel drums, mm -hmm. which we used to do like the nation drumming, etc. Made right, they right. But then later on, we have we developed now the djembe, we have a rhythm, and then we have bass. We have single bass, we have double bass. Mm -hmm. So we incorporate a lot of other instruments in order to to make what we're doing um, come alive a little bit more. So we have been totally creative in what we're doing. We also within that have created different rhythms. So if you look at what we have done, we have choreographed drumming where you have movements within the drum like what we the piece I refer to as the six and drums mm -hmm. it is a totally creative piece that we did um, so we have been doing that apart from that we do other pieces that date back five six hundred years coming out of West Africa um, some of the nation drumming that we did like the bongo we do the belly we do the piki etc so we still do that in a way of preserving our our culture but we have also take it to a next level where we um, we do creative drumming Choreograph drumming, um, and I think more than anything else, that is what distinguishes Tivoli drummers from all the other groups that you probably have seen, because we are um, we are our own originators, <laughs> for want of a better word. So the group is going on from '95 to now. I don't know how good my math is. So there are definitely uh, 15 years uh, um, we are we are in the making.
issues financially? Is it a viable group to be in financially? Well, the group does not pay its members. <clears throat> like um, you go to a performance and you get X amount of money. But we take care of all the um, financial uh, um, liabilities of members when we have to travel for costuming, for any, any, anything like that. In, in medical emergencies, mm -hmm. the group would, would step in. So, um, but in terms of, um, say, paying members to perform, that has been our policy that we would we would save our funds for like when we have issues or places yeah. to go needs yeah. and uh, I think more than anything else that is what keep um, team the Japanese together so we have been to Trinidad we've been to Carifest in Trinidad we've been to Guyana we've been to Antigua several of the places we had to pay our own fee we went to uh, with a nine member cast to Canada okay. all our expenses were paid by the group do you have your own annual drum Functions? Well, also, yes, I, I glad you asked that because I intend to say that too. Um, the, out of the Tivoli Jamas, we try to what we call reinvent ourselves, to mm -hmm. expand ourselves. So, all the members of the Tivoli Jamas are ex officio members of the Grenada Drum Festival Committee, and I'm also the president of the Grenada Drum Festival Committee. And the Drum Festival Committee is celebrating 10 years next year. Um, the Drum Fest, we have broad groups from all over. All over. As far as Taiwan, we have broad groups from Taiwan, mm -hmm. from Canada, we brought groups within the region, St. Lucia, St. Vincent, okay. um, Barbados, Trinidad, Tobago, several groups from the various islands. Um, our event started on the court, we were on the court this year, we are going to be on the Tivoli Hard Court next year, May 6, 7, and 8, so you already have the date. <laughs> Generally, we practice once a week in the low season, uh -huh. but anytime there's, there are events coming up, we then double to um, Sundays, which is a regular practice day now, okay. and on Tuesdays, so we practice twice a week. You have a day notice, one day notice, you can call us and we are ready. 
because okay. like so you're we, open for functions all the time okay. i mean we don't need to go back and develop no new repertoire we have repertoire for three hours but so we can perform at any any short notice okay. because we are always always working on our on our program trying to develop new stuff and also trying to keep afresh um, the program that we are doing okay. all the time okay. okay thank you livingston so much for sharing that with us you have met livingston the manager of the tivoli drummers um we'll be right back